Welcome to Takadimi Part 6 in the seven-part series on the Takadimi Rhythm Counting System. This video, we're going to talk about compound meters, mixed meters, and just some of those other meters that you might come across in your music. This is definitely starting to go to a more advanced level. The first meter we're going to talk about is one of the more common meters, and it really will bring in the foundation for three of the meters that we're going to talk about in this video. Actually, it's going to it's going to relate to all the meters we talk about in this video. Throughout this entire series, we've talked about a few different time signatures, even though we haven't directly talked about them. We pretty much dealt with 2, 4, 3, 4, and 4, 4 because all the counting with Takadimi in the first five videos that we've done, it's all exactly the same no matter what. It just changes how many beats are in a measure, but the counting is still exactly the same. Once we get into like 6, 8, 9, 8, 3, 8, 5, 8, and 7, 8, which are the time signatures we're going to talk about in this video, there's a few other pieces that come into play. So this is going to be more of a talking and explaining video than performing and actually getting out the instrument. Though we will do, there will be a little bit of playing in this video, just kind of showing how the examples sound. The other piece is there are lots of different time signatures more than what we're gonna cover in this series alone, but all the videos in this series will give you the foundation to figure out those other time signatures. However, if you come across a time signature you just can't seem to put your finger on, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to help you through the comment section. And if that just doesn't do it justice, I'll go ahead and make another video on that specific time signature that you're having trouble with or with any parts of the Takadimi system. Don't hesitate to leave a question down in the comment section. Just because this is a seven part series doesn't mean I'll have some follow up videos based on questions or other things that just come up over time. Let's jump in and we're gonna look at line one, which is six, eight. Up until now, all the time signatures we've dealt with have been quarter note gets the beat. Now we're looking at the eighth note gets the beat. So in six, eight time, that means there are six eighth notes in a measure. So in six, eight time, the dotted quarter note gets the beat. And you're gonna see right here in the very beginning, you're gonna see two dotted quarter notes and it goes ta, ta. Again, ta is the beat. No matter what, ta is always the downbeat. Ta, 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 ta. It doesn't matter how slow or fast we go, the ta is always the beat. So now let's talk about the breakdown. And this is going to look familiar to when we were dealing with triplets in a quarter note based rhythm. So the dotted quarter note has three eighth notes inside of it. So there are six eighth notes in a measure, hence six eight time. To count it, you're going to say ta ki da 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 ta ki da. Or it doesn't really matter how fast you go. Taki da 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 taki da. And if I play it on the drums, taki da 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 ta. That is how you count straight eighth notes. Now, if we jump to the next measure, we have a quarter note followed by an eighth note. So the ka, or sorry, the key is still in there, but it's silent. Taki da taki da taki da taki da taki da taki da ta. Ta da ta da ta. Or if I have a metronome beat going, ta da ta da ta. Ta da ta da ta. And that's how you would do the quarter note followed by the eighth note. Let's jump over to the next common example we're gonna see in six, eight time, which is right here. So it's the dotted eighth note followed by a 16th note followed by an eighth note. Ta, di da, ta, di da, ta. 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 If I do it on trumpet, you 
that would be the dotted eighth note followed by a sixteenth followed by another eighth note. Jump down to the next line of line one. Didn't really label these the most properly. So now we have an eighth note followed by two sixteenth notes followed by an eighth note. Ta ki di da ta ki di da ta ki di da ta. Ta ki di da ta ki di da ta ki di da ta. Ta ki di da ta ki di da ta. Ta ki di da ta ki di da ta. If we slow it down a little bit. Now what you're going to find with all these compound mixed and some of these other meters is at first you really need to think through them. Over time, you're just going to get the feel. So once you see it, you'll just kind of feel how that rhythm goes. So if we do this measure again, ta ki di da ta ki di da ta ki di da ta. And that takes us through that rhythm. Now let's look at the next one, which is an eighth note followed by four sixteenth notes. Ta ki di da ma ta ki di da ma ta. Ta ki di da ma ta ki di da ma ta. Kind of get a sense for how it fits in with the beat. Ta kiri dama ta kiri dama ta. Now at first these are not going to flow off the tongue. After you do them just a few times, even when I started making up this sheet and really practicing the sayings, it I tripped through it multiple times. After a few minutes, probably five or ten minutes, it started kind of flowing. So once you do it a few times, it will start to flow off the tongue, even though it will not feel like that at first. I can definitely promise you that. Let's look at this next one, which is straight sixteenth notes. Tava ki di dama ta. Tava ki di dama tava ki di dama ta. That's how you say it a little slowly. Tava ki di dama tava ki di dama ta. Tava ki di dama tava ki di dama ta. Tava ki di dama tava ki di dama ta. That is how you would put that type of rhythm together. And then the last one is if we have a one note in the full measure, which that in this case would be a dotted half note, and you just say ta. Ta. <laughs> All right, let's jump down to line two. Now what you're gonna notice in these first three examples, line one, example one, line two, example two, and line three, example three, is they're all the same. All the same key components. The only thing that's gonna change is how many beats are in the measure. The counting is exactly the same. You're gonna see the dotted quarter note gets the beat of ta. You're gonna see the group of three, ta, ki, da, but instead, you're going to see three of them because we are now in 9-8. So we're adding three more eighth notes in a measure or an extra dotted quarter note. That is the only difference. Everything else stays exactly the same. There are just three dotted quarter notes per measure or nine eighth notes. That is the only difference. All the playing will stay exactly the same. Ta, ta, ta. Ta ki da ta ki da ta ki da ta da ta da ta da. If we just look at that first line of line two, the counting is exactly the same. Let me go through that line one more time. Ta 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 ki da ta ki da ta ki da ta da ta da ta da. Now, if we look down at line two, I did add one more example in here that I didn't show up in the first example of line one, and that is this part right here. Let me draw that line a little bit better so I'm not actually blanking out some of the sayings. So now we've got the eighth note followed by the quarter note. Taki, taki, taki. The da stays silent after each one of those. Taki da taki da taki. Taki da taki da taki da. Taki, taki, taki. So you're just flipping it around. All right, and what you'll notice is in the next part here, we just have the grouping of all 16th notes. I didn't fill the measure completely, just so it gives it a little better spacing, but it's still that ta va ki di da ma ta. 
And if we set it through the whole thing, tava ki di dama, tava ki di dama, tava ki di dama ta. So it's just how many times you're doing it in that measure. So we're not going to spend a lot of time on this one or the next one because they're all the same variations of each other. It just changes how many beats are in the measure. So what you're going to see now down on this line three is we're now in 3-8 time. So there is only one dotted quarter note per measure or 3 eighth notes in a measure, hence the 3-8 time. So if you read through this, it's exactly the same as the previous two examples, just there's only one, you know, one pairing of everything instead of two or three, depending on which type of rhythm that you're looking at. So let's skip down now to line four and line five. This is where things change up a bit. And I'm going to leave line three on the screen a little bit. Now we are getting into what is called mixed meters. This is where you will eventually have to really feel things. At first, you're going to have to think through it very mechanically, but once you understand how it goes together, it's all by feel. When I got to college, I was terrible at rhythm reading. Terrible. I could do the basic rhythms well because I had to get into the music program anyway, so I could do that stuff well. But anything outside of just those standard 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, and maybe a little bit of 6, 8, I completely fell apart. Knowing this, my trumpet teacher at the time gave me a piece in the trumpet world called the Halsey Stevens Sonata. This piece changes time signature almost every measure or every other measure through a lot of the piece. It goes 5, 8, 7, 8, 2, 4, 3, 4, you know, 3, 8. It's it, every measure, it's bouncing around different time signatures. By the end of working on that piece, I had no more fears of playing in any meter that is out there. That made it so much easier. And by the end of that, it's just, you, you, there's a certain kind of a light bulb that goes on and you just start to feel those rhythms and that's how it is now. So what is mixed meters? Mixed meters is when they take two different types of meters and put them together. So, so far we've done the 3-8, 6-8, the 9-8, we've done the 2-4, 3-4, and 4-4. What they're doing in 5-8 is smacking those two systems together. So you're going to see in this first example on line 4, We've got that 3-8 type of rhythm that you see up here, ta ki da But then we have two more eighth notes, which is more grounded in that 2-4-3-4-4-4. Four, 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 four. ta di ta di ta di ta di Because in 5-8, what that means is there is five eighth notes in each measure. And what gets really funky with this is the tempo is not steady. So in 3-8, 5-8, or sorry, in 3-8, 6-8, 9-8, 2-4, 3-4, 4-4, the beat is always steady. There's no change. Five eight seven eight is when things get interesting. Here is the metronome beat in five eight. Ta ki da ta di ta ki da ta di. So you'll hear it's not consistently steady. There's a bit more spacing between because of the first three eighth notes to the second two eighth notes. Ta ki da ta di ta ki da ta di ta ki da ta di. So once you get that feel of how it goes, it will become much, much, much easier. Now, as you'll see in this example on line four, it starts with a group of three and goes to a group of two. There are situations, and depending on the song, it'll start with a group of two and then go to the group of three. So instead it could go ta di ta ki da ta di ta ki da Doesn't change how any of this works. You're just going to flip it all around. There's no need to show the, the differences because it is exactly the same. It's just flipping around what happens. So you'll see in this measure that the ta still have the beat. Ta ki da ta, ta ki da ta, ta ki da ta, ta ki da ta, ta ki da ta. Ta, 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 ta. And if we look at the next measure, three eighth notes followed by a quarter note. Ta ki da ta di, ta ki da ta di, ta ki da ta di. Ta ki da ta, ta ki da ta, ta ki da ta, ta ki da ta. If we look at the next measure, we have the dotted quarter note with the two eighth notes. Ta ta di ta ta di ta ta di ta ta di. What I'm gonna do is group those first four measures together and play it. Ta ki da ta di, ta ki da ta di, ta ki da ta di, ta ki da ta di. Over time, you'll get this feel. 
Now, if we look at the next measure, you're gonna see, I'm gonna take out the circle I just drew, you're gonna see the pairing of that with the pairing of that. Oop, let me draw a little better line, see if I can get it more. <laughs> oh, that got even worse. There we go. You're gonna see the grouping of four and the grouping of six. Just like you saw up on this previous line, tavakidi dama, tavakidi dama. Then with the grouping of four, you've got just the traditional takadimi. Tavakidi dama takadimi, tavakidi dama takadimi, tavakidi dama takadimi, tavakidi dama takadimi. And that's kind of how you can work through that measure. Now you can use this measure that I just went through. Let me take those out. And you can use that to help fill in gaps. So in these two measures, you can use this breakdown to fill in what you would need to say. Ta, kiri, da, ta, ta, kiri, da, ta, ta, kiri, da, ta, ta, kiri, da, ta. Or in the last one, Tava kiri da ta, tava kiri da ta, tava kiri da ta, tava kiri da ta. And that will help you fill in the gaps there. Now let's jump down to 7, 8. It is exactly the same concept. Instead of this time, you've got the grouping of 3, grouping of 2, and 2. 3, 2, 2. And that's a lot of times how you'll see this marked. Sometimes what people will do is above their music, they'll write in a 3-2-2 two, two, so they can remember how the groupings go. Sometimes you might see the two eighth notes followed by the grouping of three followed by two eighth notes in which you would write 2-3-2. Two, two. So that just kind of helps give you a quick visual as you're playing along of how those groupings are going to be. Again, same concept as you see in line four, depending on the groupings. Taka di ta di ta di ta ki da 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 ta di ta di. So this is just a nice introduction to mixed, compound, and those other meters that you might come across in your music. Six eight, you will see pretty commonly. That that's that's a very common time signature you will come across in your band music, or choral music, or whatever you're playing. Six eight is just a very common meter, just like four four. 9, 8, 3, 8, 5, 8, 7, 8, those are things you will not see as often. But having the understanding of how they go together, when you come across them, you will be able to figure it out and put it together. As with all my other videos down in the description, I have a link to my Dropbox, which has all these worksheets in there. I also have a sheet from a site called takademy.net, which has some more resources, and I would strongly suggest you checking out that site to see what other resources, and maybe there's some more things that can help you out there. As always, don't hesitate to leave a comment below, and I'll do my best to help out through comments, and if that just doesn't do the trick, I will create an additional follow-up video and get that up and post it. This, again, is the sixth video in a seven-part series. My goal is next weekend I'll get the seventh part up and we'll have this series all complete. This is Adam on Tech, the music guy this time, signing off.